Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and I just got back from the Salt Lake City Planner Con party, and I wanted to go through everything because there's a lot, and I didn't want to forget anything, and so, plus, I kind of want to delve into everything, so I figured I would go ahead and tape this, get it done, so that I can start playing with all the stuff, and I won't have to remember what came where. So... This is the swag bag that we got um, when we came in today. So it was filled with a lot of stuff, which is right underneath this. So this was um, designed by Alex um, with Oh Hello, and uh, who is hilarious, by the way. I adore him. So this from Erin Condren was sitting at the table when we uh, came in. And I will open that up. Um, you have a set of Erin Condren designer pencils. So six number two pencils. And they're all the different designs that you get. And then a big giant Erin Condren designer eraser. And then this is screen cleaning towelettes, a uh, pack of 15. And this is a jot your thoughts down. It's a, uh, an 80 uh, page lined journal in the metallic gold, which is awesome. And uh, her pages are really nice. Um, I'm sure you've all seen those. So um, that was on the table. In the bags, we got... Um, this is from Gilded Butterfly. And they were very cute. These were in the swag bags. So that is the, um, the label of these. And they're a new shop. And this is Word Washi. So if you can see that, hopefully the light's not going crazy. And then another word wash with love. So I think they both say love. So there's that. And uh, I got my first official pen gems. I've never had a pen gem before. And I now own two. And I'll show you the next one in a minute. But I guess this is a one of their ballpoint refills. So it is a ballpoint pen, so um, but it's got peach and teal and uh, uh, clear in there. So my first, very first official pen gem. And this came from uh, Prima Flowers, uh, Prima Travelers Journals. And they are, uh, they kind of stick up, but you can put them in a personal sized um, ring planner if you want. Uh, they're just flourishes. So there's that. They're a little bit thick for me, but they're cute. Um, then Franklin Covey did, um, or Franklin Planner, uh, gave us a 21 day planner. So you can kind of get a feel for what it's like to use an air, uh, a Franklin Planner from Franklin Covey. And these, um, got passed out, uh, after we got sat down. And so I don't know if these were swaps or if these were actually in there. I can't remember. So I apologize if these were actually in the bag. So uh, I'm very excited because you have Grumpy Bear Studios and we got a hair tie and some die cuts and I'm very excited about that. I have never um, had any of their stuff and at least I think it's Grumpy Bear Studio. Hold on. I am fairly 100% sure. So Grumpy Bear Sticker Co. So GrumpyBearStickers.com and uh, so cute and functional planner stickers and accessories and they are adorable. I will just tell you now I love them. And then this is from Sweet Paper Studio Designs and you've got uh, just a little sampler pack and they are very very cute. And this bow came from Busy Bee at, at BB. It's an Etsy shop with a big sparkly bow on top. And then this came all the way from the Netherlands. The Lizu Papers. Uh, and so it's got a bunch of uh, different gems and stuff in it. And it talks about her stuff. And it's got the Planner Com Party. And it's got Dutch Washi, which is awesome. She had donated uh, quite a few things for the, for the drawing. But I just thought that was way cute, and I love that. Then Coco Daisy sent a, a bag, or was in a bag 
was in the actual uh, swag bag. So I will show you what was in this. Um, their business card. And then you have the puffy stickers from the November kit. Um, a little bit of gold sparkly washi. Um, more of the puffy stickers. I'm not sure. Prob oh, this is from the travel kit, which was, I believe, January. Because it's actually one of my favorite kits. And I love that. Um, you get one of their dories, which is a personal size dory. And it's their 12-month um, planner or 12 month dory which is awesome so you can just it's undated um, other than having the the number or the name of the month at the top you get a, we got a stack of the um, sticky notes which is like a, a little um, luggage tag and then an actual uh, paper luggage a cardstock luggage pack tag and then, so it was out of the January kit so that's the travel themed kit which was awesome and I love this set of stickers. You've got the the um, tabs and such. And then you've got uh, the regular Dory stickers, which I love. All in the same color scheme. And then you've got the pen. And I'm not sure. This was not in the January one. So this may be just her regular generic pen. I'm not sure. So we're going to stick all of that back in here so I can go through more. All right. So then... We also got, um, this came from Micron and Jelly Roll. I haven't actually even opened this yet. Um, this was also in the swag bag. So, it's a, I know it's like a pencil, pencil pouch. So, um, Sakura of America. And so you get a little um, catalog from them. And, ooh, oh, that's awesome. Very cool. Love those stickers. Um, and then you get um, a flyer on the Micron uh, and the Jelly Roll pens. And then this cute um, little pouch. It's kind of, it's not paper, but it's probably re, um, refurbed uh, material. And it's got a zipper. And then you get a white Jelly Roll and a Pigma Micron. Uh, in, oh, it's a permanent uh, plastic nib. I haven't tried plastic nibs yet, so that makes me excited. So, and it's archival ink, so that's awesome. And then, and then, put that all to the side here, so I don't lose it. So many little bags! And then we got uh, Simply Gilded Washi. So, and this is one I don't have. I think it's from one of her galaxy collections. I'm not sure. Um, but it's moons and stars. And I freaking love it. So there's that. So that's what was in the kit. Or the swag bag. So. Then we had um, two workshops. One from Kayla and Alex. Um, with ohellocompany.com. And then this was. Um, it was a. Uh, workbook about traveler's notebooks and talks about some terminology and all that and then it has you kind of figure out what your size is and then it's got some printables um, that are cut there are ones that you can actually cut out and try out all the way from pocket to a5 and so you can kind of test them out and see what you like which I love and then they gave us a code for a free downloadable printable and then the other workshop uh, or there's there were three workshops total. This was from Carpe Diem, and it was a whole kit. And uh, this was, I actually got to pick up a second kit because uh, somebody had left it and it was, nobody else was there. And I was like, ah, oh, I'm going to take that then. So it's, it had a TN in it, or uh, an insert, a graph uh, insert. And then you had stickers. And she showed us how to make, um, how to cover the TN or the insert and all of that. So it was very, very cool, and so we got to take that with us. And then the last uh, workshop was from juliechats.com, and she showed us how to use these little baggies as shakers, and it they turned out really cute. Um, and so you can they had glitter and uh, sequins and stuff like that all over the table, and you could put these. 
um, and use them as shakers. So I loved that, and so I may use that in there. But um, and then they, she has um, some stickers, and then we also got a little TN charm. So that's very cool. And uh, then the her business card. So which is awesome. So there's that. And then she was even talking about how you can use this big baggie and make it a shaker and use it as a, like a dashboard, which was pretty amazing. So there's that. And, oh, let me put that in there too. So that's all the stuff that we got from the actual like swag bags and all of that. So on top of all that, then you go into the swaps, which are things, and I just put them in this box so I can sort them out. Um, my swaps that I actually took with me, um, that I did for myself, were, um, I got like 50 of these little pads. They're little unicorn, um, little sheets of paper. They're not sticky notes, they're just little notepads. And it had a glittery unicorn on it. And I just put a sticker with my YouTube channel on it and what that's about. So. I was like, it's easy, it's cheap, and they, these were very popular. And then I did these the same sticker on these tiny little envelopes, and I just put a little piece of washi tape, and I had my um, business card in it. And then uh, I had these packs of Kaiser uh, Ephemera from Australia, and um, if those of you have seen my one of my um, videos from... Well, I can't pick that up. Uh, when I did my bargain stop shopping, I got bags of these, and each bag was like, I think I paid 80 or 90 cents for a bag, and they had 50 pieces of ephemera, of cardstock ephemera. And so I'm like, sweet. And then I got these little envelopes are, I got boxes of uh, 500, and I think the box itself was maybe $3. And they're actually cards from a florist and or a florist supply company and um, again from my little bargain shop and so I picked those up and I thought well eventually I'll be able to use them and so I just did that and these were so popular I, I, I loved that I did these so those were my swaps and so what I got back were um, these are just some examples of stuff that people had so with business cards um, one girl made um, laminated um, book, little marks, little bookmark things, and then washi tape um, uh, cards, which these are brilliant. And th these are just uh, thread, um, embroidery thread rings, and they're plastic, and you can just use these. Um, and then um, this was. Uh, oh, that was a grumpy bear thing. I must pick up a second one. Um, and then, uh, these were adorable. Um, her business card, um, sugar con team member or planner con team member. I don't even know. And, uh, it has like a little washi card on a piece of a, a pineapple and then a pen clip. And tell me how cute those little ghost ribbon is. So you just clip it on and it's a pen holder. And then uh, Silent Poetry Arts and uh, with a little washi card. And then this is from 31. Somebody's evidently a 31 uh, rep. And Stacy, I can't, Schmanner? Any, uh, she's, um, but she did this for uh, Plan on Charms. And that's awesome. So those were the swaps that I got. The actual, like, people coming up and doing swaps. In the end, it's it, we had like eight tables, I think, of eight, and so we I just went around and put eight little things around on the tables. It was much easier that way. Then um, you got uh, there was a big table of stuff. Oh, let me tell you what I won. I won a second pen gems, which this is a red, white, and blue one. I freaking love this one. Oh my gosh, I won that one because I um, had they were like, "What's in your planner?" And I won that one. And then I asked a question of, oh, hello, uh, and got that little st stack of sticky notes, which I think is adorable. So then there is a big table of stuff that you don't use anymore. And it just kept filling up uh, throughout the whole day. 
And so, like, I got um, these little things of washi. I mean, like, some of the rolls are used, but I loved that one. And just, like, a roll of stickers. Um, I loved that roll of washi tape. And so these things are washi tape. And I'm just like, I mean, they're just, there was even, like, a big box of stuff left at the end. And so I was just like, oh. So, yeah, it's just stuff people don't use anymore which amazed me. Um, oh, one other thing that I had gotten in the bag, which I had put off to the side, was a refillable Filofax notebook in their green, in their lime green. So um, that also went into our swag bag. So sorry I didn't have that out. But um, in that table, um, I mean, you could just go pick up stuff. And I took a whole bunch of stuff and put it out. And, um, but like, just like some of the stuff was used and, or it's just stuff that people don't use anymore. And these were adorable. These, um, little die cuts I was in love with. Um, but like samplers and I mean, it was just crazy the different things that were there. And some of it was used and some of it was, you know, uh, like some of the stickers were gone and whatnot. I got to find out where this came from because I freaking love this insert. Um, so yeah, uh, ah, something card, Mimo card. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do some research on this, this one because I want more of these inserts. Um, and then, you know, just different stickers. I was in love with these martial arts stickers. I'm like, oh, I want those. So karate stickers. And then there were some um, larger kits that were just whole kits. Um, these little ducks, the do the dodo pad, were just hilarious. And um, these were like monthly folders, I'm assuming for like receipts that you can use. And then just a different sticker sheet that was had some stuff gone, but I guess they weren't using it. So that was in the D-stash table. That's what it's called, D-stash table. So that's what I got there. Oh, and I got one other thing from the D-stash table. This whole sheet was from there. So, yeah. And then, last but not least, the stuff that I actually bought um, was pretty amazing. Um, these came from uh, ohellocompany.com, and these are pocket inserts. And this is their um, meeting manager uh, insert which I loved. And these have a soft touch cover. Oh, so nice. Oh my goodness. Um, this was a monthly planner and, or a monthly insert, an undated monthly insert. Then a daily hourly insert goes from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. And I love that it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 things you can check off and notes, which yeah, I'll be getting more of these. And then a weekly and I love the whole setup of the weekly, everything. But yeah, this soft touch cover is freaking amazing. So I got that set of four from them. I just wanted to try them out and see if I like them. And then I will order more from them. And then, uh, oh, this was some of the washi tape that uh, we got on the table to work in our, um, our on our table from Carpe Diem. And uh, that's where this was from, Carpe Diem. I don't know that I actually said that, so I just wanted to be sure I did. Then last but not least, I fell in love with this shop. Oh my goodness. It's called Ink by Jing. And let me just show you her card. And it is, she is phenomenal. She sat at our table um, when she was not in her booth. And... Oh my gosh, her bullet journal stuff is crazy amazing. So this is a dot grid, a dot and grid stencil. And you can, she's talking about how you can use this. Like these are um, just like the squares and you have the water dot uh, habit tracker. These are, can be habit trackers. Uh, then you have the clouds here. And if you can see that, and then this is a ring that you can use if you wanted to like 
circle, a calendar, or anything like that in your bullet journal. But she was showing me, like, okay, see the camera, and it doesn't have the little lens. You put the, you draw the camera, and then you take one of these little circles and draw the lens in it. Or I think it might be one of these. This is the sun. You draw the clouds. It's right there. And then you just draw the sun peeking out of it if you want to draw a cloudy day. Um, you can do a, this can be a big water drop or you can draw this and then draw one of the tiny circles in it as a location marker. This can do a highlight for days of the week. This, she said that a lot of people use these for like when they're posting to YouTube or watching binge watching Netflix or something like that. But you can layer all of these, which I had never actually thought to do. And that was pretty amazing. She said she used this one the most and they are very sturdy, but not thick. Um, she's very minimalistic. Um, this one, it has all of these different holes. So let me grab, ah, I just have a Rhodia here, but let me see if I can show you on the Rhodia. Cause it's the only dot grid I've got right here. Um, I will take this out. And this solves one of my major problems in my bullet journal, is if I wanna make a section, I always have to count each section out. And hopefully these are the same grid. Yes. Okay, so say that you wanted to do 12 sections. Like you wanted to do, um, like rows or you want to do so this is a section that you get one two three um so if you wanted to do a three month just three blocks this counts it out and you could just start at the top put the dot inside the circle i don't know if you can see that but you can put the dot inside the circle you can place it in there and then you can just take a pencil and mark whatever one and so this, the rectangles there tell you how big your box is going to be. All the way down to if you just wanted to go, uh, like you wanted to have 12 boxes, you just put it there. And that was amazing. And then over here, it has the, um, if you needed to have like a section that long for 26, or this one will go for a full 38 days. Um, it's just amazing. It was a roll and collection stencil. And it was, I think, $9.50 for this. But n never having to worry about where I'm going to count or whatever. You can just use a pencil and dot it. Oh my gosh, it's tremendously helpful. And all of her stuff works with Leuchtturm, Moleskine, uh, all, uh, Rhodia evidently. And, uh, so, um, it does not work with the Hobonichi grid. So she did tell me that, but she's working on something for that, I think. But it all fits the, this fits in the back pockets of those. It just slides in and I'm like, and she does her own bullet journal as well. She made a whole bullet, bullet journal and I'm just like, that is amazing. So so that was the second stencil that I got from her. Then, oh my God, I am so excited about this. So this is a giant bag of rolls of washi tape. Now, this washi tape is kind of magical. I am so intrigued by it. Uh, so this is one through seven. And they are calendars, if you can see that. Um, Trying to see if I can get this in there. So there's 31, and so it starts on a it's a Monday start for that. So it's a it's a monthly calendar, and you can just cut that strip. On each roll, each roll, there is 250 of these. And she has um, there's seven days, six days. Five days, four days, three days, 
two days, and one day. So no matter when your month starts, you have a calendar. And you can just cut the piece of washi and lay it down and it's clear. And oh my gosh, it made everything look just so clean and crisp. So all of this washi, all of this, all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rolls, which each roll has 250 calendars. All of this was $28, which to me, I think is an amazing freaking deal. On top of that, I got this piece of, of it's a skinny washi and it has um, Monday through whatever, however you want to do it. I'm a Monday start girl, so I would just cut that down and it would fit across at the top. So, yeah, I love this. I would have gotten more of this, but she was out at the con. So, I love Ink by Jing, and she is the nicest, sweetest girl ever, and I will forever go to her shop because it is freaking amazing. And she designed it all, um, and she's just a bullet journal person and she was like I like minimalistic and I like clean lines and I'm like I never have to count out stuff again freaking love it so please please check her out um, she's on Instagram Facebook Etsy Twitter Pinterest uh, YouTube all under ink by Jing and so her name is Jen and just yeah honestly check her out. If you follow me on Instagram, I follow her and she's great. So that is my haul from, uh, oh, I wanted to show you, um, Bonnie and Alex's, uh, this is their contact information. Um, they do the pa pa paper, paper, this is po paper and folk, paper focus. God, I can't even talk anymore. But they were another uh, vendor there, which was awesome as well. Um, but this, I mean, I was so impressed with the vendors. Oh, my goodness. Um, oh, one last thing that I got, which I am so in love with. Uh, it's called uh, Pegatina Plans. And these are... This is her smallest. They These are sticker albums. And let me just tell you, oh my gosh, the designs that she has are amazing. And each one of the, these, has, has, it will hold 120 uh, sets of stuff if you put in dividers. So yeah, it's crazy awesome. And she has all different designs and I would have gotten more actually. But, and this one is designed for die cuts and for stamp samplers. So, um, what, yeah, now I can't put my hand on a damn sampler. Um, but, uh, let me get one right here. Ah! Okay. So, this one you would just put like a sampler in it. They're top loading. They are very sturdy. And they're like the Happy Scrappy. But, she has a bazillion of them. And the reason I didn't get more of these was because there was another a design. She had like three different moon and lunar uh, designs. And I wanted, she has this size, which is the mini. Then she has a regular one, which would hold the Once More Would Love, um, Copy Monsters Co. Then she has a, a, the next size up. And then she has a, a big one, which is like a full page. So there's four different sizes. All of them have 120 sheets in there, or all of them will hold 120 um, sides, uh, so 60 each. Um, and then, uh, so no matter what size you get, they're all they all have the same number of sheets in it. But she will um, do the design on these um, if you wanted to have them all the same. And there's one that's uh, the um, the astrology signs. And it was a gorgeous, gorgeous um, 
cover. And so I'm going to go onto her website and uh, order it all at one time. But it is Pegatina Plans. Pegatina means sticker in Spanish, I think. And so she's also on Instagram. So if you would look her up, um, yeah, she needs to put her website on here. But um, she was trying to get everything done in time. But these are phenomenal. So, and she has like holographic ones, mermaid ones, um, potty mouth ones, um, one that was like fuckity fuck fuck, which I was just loving, but I fell in love with the lunar ones. And so that's why I got this one. Cause I couldn't, I, I just, this was $8 and she has, she said she has specials on her website where if you get a bundle of all four sizes and if you request it, she will do all of the same design. Um, and then she'll do a bundle discount for you. But Pegatina plans, and her husband was there helping her, who is a doll. And I just was so, so impressed. And so all of the all of you who can never ever manage to get a happy scrappy one, give her a try because these are top notch quality. And I was very excited to get these. So, all right, that's truly it, I promise. And uh I hope you guys um, have enjoyed this. Uh, PlannerCon was fun, and or the PlannerCon Salt Lake City party was fun. I enjoyed meeting everybody. I made some uh, really good connections, and um, loved meeting some of those people. Were just amazingly hilarious, and uh, yeah, it was definitely worth my time to go. And I very much enjoyed myself. So, if you have one in in near you, um, you know, and you can afford to go, it's definitely worth it. So. Uh, I hope you have a great day, and as always, spend the rest of your life celebrating because why would you not? And I will talk to you later. Bye.